Hi, I'm Dr. Greg Castello, board certified family practice with CostelloWellness.com and I'm here with Steve Mock, an exercise physiologist with Revolution Physical Therapy in Glen Ellen. Steve, good morning. Good morning. Nice Glad to, to meet you. you. Nice to so meet you guys do some interesting stuff here, different than regular physical therapy. You do some exercise physiology and weight loss stuff, correct? Yep. Okay. Yep, we have an eight week weight loss program. Uh, it's covered by insurance and essentially what makes our program different from the typical weight loss program is it's a multiple discipline program. So essentially we have three different prongs attacking weight loss from each angle. So we have an exercise physiologist, a motivation manager who's a clinical psychologist, and then a registered dietitian. All clinicians are masters and PhD level. Another thing that makes us different is that we use the most up-to-date uh, scientific technology for our diagnostic measurements so we can personalize your exercise plan for you to help you maximize the results for your eight-week program. Excellent. So some of the things that you guys do as part of your program is you, when you assess a patient initially, what are the basic things that you'll check on them before you start a program? Sure. sure. So when everyone starts the program, they go through a readiness evaluation with our clinical psychologist to make sure that they have the time to complete the program and make sure that they can give 100% to it so they'll get the results that they need. Uh, after that, they have an initial biomarker with me, the exercise physiologist. That biomarker consists of blood pressure, uh, resting blood glucose circumferences, uh, an ultrasound body composition. Um, so beyond that, we also do a resting metabolic rate. There's no diets here, no pills, no powders. Uh, resting metabolic rate essentially tells you how many calories you need to consume a day just to survive. Uh, beyond that, we also do a submaximal exercise test so we know at what heart rate you switch from burning fats to carbohydrates. So there's no guessing game. We use numbers, we use math, and we also use the resources of the dietitian, the motivation manager, to help keep people on track for the eight weeks and lead to a lifestyle change. Excellent. So what we're going to do today is I'm going to kind of run through this with Steve, and we're going to show you some of the things that they do. So we're going to do body fat testing. So um, they'll do ultrasound on me and measure how thick my body fat is in three different spots and then put that on a formulation and tell me what my body fat is. Uh, we're going to have me sit and breathe into a mask and they're going to calculate how much oxygen and carbon dioxide I consume and tell me how many calories I'm burning from minute to minute and then multiply that times 24 hours and then we're going to have me run on a treadmill and we're going to again measure oxygen and heart rate and carbon dioxide and Steve's going to help me decide what my best heart rate is to burn fat at which point and we did do a video before where we talked about fat burning heart rate at what point I switch from fat burning to either muscle burning or carbohydrate burning and I want to stay in fat burning. Um, he's also going to go a little bit further with me and he's going to tell me what my maximum exercise capacity is and what this will help me do is when I train if I do something uh, aerobic training program I can come back and he can tell me if I'm more cardiovascular fit or less cardiovascular fit based on my training regime so whatever, whatever I'm doing is working so we're gonna go ahead and get started and do some of the testing that we do here at Revolution thanks so how we do body fat here at Revolution is the ultrasound body one and essentially what we're gonna do is we're gonna take three spots the thigh chest and waist and we're gonna try the ultrasound is going to measure the subcutaneous fat at each point. Okay, so Dr. Gasol, I'm going to have you lift the shirt up if you can. First one we're going to start off with is the chest. So all the wand is doing, everything on the right side, is measuring the subcutaneous fat using the ultrasound imaging. So for the chest, we had 4.9 millimeters of subcutaneous fat. So the wand is measuring where the subcutaneous fat starts and where the muscle belly or the fascia begins. Next one we'll do is the waist. So I'll have you turn and face me if you can. Good. So 12.7 millimeters of subcutaneous fat at that spot, which is great. Men typically tend to have a higher central adipose tissue, but for Dr. Costello, it's not quite the case. And the last one we're going to do is the thigh. So if I can have you lift your right pant leg up. So this is similar to if you've had caliper testing before, where they will come in and they'll, they'll right? put most of the weight on the left. Well, they'll come and they'll pinch your 
fat with a caliper, and that's very, unfortunately, operator-dependent, how much fat you grab, how much pressure you apply, you'll get very different readings as to the sub-Q fat. But the same concept, you measure three standardized places and check and see how much fat or thickness of fat. No. <laughs> According to our scale, 15%. Body fat? Body fat, okay. yes. So on my home scale, I'm about 9% with the impedance measure, so disappointing for me at 15%, but it's, everything is a number, and so if I trained and I came back and he said I'm 13%, regardless of whether I started at 9 or I started at 15, um, it's an improvement. So it's an it's a objective measure, not dependent on body water, not dependent on contact with the scale. So, all right, step number one. So we're going to go ahead and move on to step number two? Yeah. Excellent. So next we're going to move on to resting metabolic rate. So as I said before, resting metabolic rate is how many calories you expend throughout an entire day if you were just to do absolutely nothing. And what we're going to do is hook Dr. Costello up to the max so everything he breathes in is room air and everything expires is going to go into the metabolic cart to analyze how much oxygen he consumed from the air and then how much carbon dioxide he produced. And from that, from that 10-15 minute, minute measurement, we can extrapolate that data for oxygen consumption to see how many calories he would expend a day just at rest. So Dr. Cassell is just going to sit and relax as least skeletal movement as possible. And what the machine is doing again is assessing the air he's breathing out for the carbon dioxide production and the oxygen consumption. So that goes about 10 to 15 minutes and we'll get that very valuable measurement of resting metabolic rate so we don't have to put any of our patients on diets. So next we're going to move on to the submaximal exercise test. And the goal of this test is again using indirect calorimetry and oxygen consumption and carbon dioxide production to see where Dr. Costello at what heart rate does he switch over from primarily fats to primarily carbohydrates. Um, we're going to go ahead and get started. It's going to be a treadmill test. Dr. Costello has a heart rate monitor on. He's hooked up to the metabolic cart. The test lasts about 10 to 15 minutes. And after that, I'll know at what heart rate that spike in ventilation occurs and when he switches over to carbon. Okay. And what's going to change? 